Perry backside pressure engulfed Jordan Thompson. We talked about the strength of this football team for Birmingham. It's on both sides of the ball up front. Ready, ready, side. Back to the former Detroit Lion. Hills, nowhere to go. Kenny Robinson. He scheme, he pulled the guard around, and he tries to push. That's just great leverage. It was pre-arranged before he signed with the Stallions. Third and 12 for Perry. He has no time to breathe. That defensive line is getting in there quick. Back to the ground. Oh, big burst! Marable down to the 20. 18 I'll you, yards. I'll tell you one thing, Lowell. This is not a complicated football team up front. They are a zone run scheme. Right or left, outside right, outside left. And this one offensive five. line, as we talked about when we came on air. Why not go back to him? Such patience, and the big fellas helping push to get a couple more. Jay Sternberger in motion, going back to Mirable. Sternberger trying to set the edge, not able to. Nate Brooks out of North Texas with the stop. 34-yard attempt by Chris Blewett out of pit is up and good. And the Stallions on the board first. Panthers trying for the first third down conversion. A low throw. Did it find the pocket? And yes. Little delay. Backside pressure. And down goes E.J. Perry. It's taco time. Perry getting home. Look at his wide stance off the left side. And he's got great first step burst. And he dips. And that's just a bust. Third and eight inside the red zone. Perry, somewhat all picked off. And that is the game changer by A.J. Thomas. And this is unfortunate because this ball's tipped at the line of scrimmage. They've got the man-to-man -man look that they want. The crossing route, he's going to get the first down. And instead, it's tipped at the line of scrimmage. We keep talking about this defensive front for Birmingham. We can't get to easy when the front four doing the work, you know? So, yeah, thank you. Martinez back foot to throw wide open is Amari Rogers tiptoe on the sideline. Adrian Martinez, and they chip the defensive end right here, and they run a crossing route and a corner on the outside. Where he come, came off with an injured lower leg, could not return to the game. The skip holds wanted to keep him out of harm's way, but he can harm you this way with the legs. He's fine, folks. I'm here to tell you, Adrian Martinez is ready to rumble. The mobile athletic quarterback that when things aren't perfect can do these sorts of things. They catch Michigan and the Panthers defense on the back end with their backs turned to the quarterback. And Adrian Martinez is off to running. And this puts so much strain on your defense when you actually have to play 11 on 11. Third and 10. Three-man rush, flushing Etling. He's a very athletic quarterback. Slips a couple of tackles. Ball is out, and it's scooped by Kenny Robinson, Jr. Look at the effort. This is two defensive linemen, number 50, Jonathan Garvin, number 99, Dontre Tillman. Look at them running to the football. How far downfield the quarterback is in the Panthers' defensive line. they got to be getting gassed at this point. Person with the carry. But still enough juice for Breland Speaks to make the stop. Explosive first step right there. Penetrates on the inside. Inside move, arm under on the left tackle right there. Martinez, nothing downfield. Oh, the one to move, bouncing it. He's going to have the first down. Martinez, as elusive as it gets in the United Football League. Couple of things here, very patient. Knew where he wanted to go initially, it wasn't there. Brings his eyes back, it's not there. Now he retreats very softly, not there. That's the explosive quickness to get out on the perimeter that tuck the football. Some guys need to be coached hard, some guys need to be coached softly. Blew it, make it three for three. He's accounted for all. Third and nine. Perry taking a shot, he's got a man! Complete to the 30, we're running! Marcus Sims! to the end zone 76 yards 
R.J. Perry here sees one-on-one -on, -one on the perimeter, gets back, holds the safety in the middle of the field with his eyes, and now it's just nothing but pure speed and a foot race to the end zone. Life, momentum, excitement, points, all on the Michigan sideline all at once. No one's catching him! No one's catching him! Ball hawk out of Duke. Panthers really need a first down here. Perry! Bad things happen when you get that much pressure on you. Hey, how timing will work from here. This looked like it was a designed quarterback draw to me, and then all of a sudden he pulls up like he's going to throw it, and they've got routes. Only three field goals to show for it. Corral, again, pressure. Marable will set a block. The spin cycle almost staying up down to the one-yard line. Just a really nice job of getting out of the pocket. You lose contain on defense. Stallions able to score out of this look last week. They do it again. Air Ricky Person. Your fullback dead set behind the quarterback. The offset back. Turn around. And it's just a numbers game at that point. To make it a two-score game. End zone. Low throw and caught. And it's a fighting Irish and Kevin Austin that makes the catch. Well, Harry, I tell you what, this was an isolated route, and I thought it was purely throw. Me and Kayla are winners, okay? <laughs> yes, sir. Through week one, Kayla. Come on now. It's early, but we're on top, guys. <laughs> we're on top. Here's Marcus Sims to the 40. Good return, but plastered out of bounds. Looking for a flag. There will not be one. Snap is down, clean hold, kick is up, and it is good! Build him the statue right now! I don't even think he thinks about it, Lowell. Hey, he, it just, that's, his, that's a 25-yard field goal to him. But let's be real about this. The NFL was not watching him before. Yeah. I'm serious. They are watching him. This will be their fourth field goal if this is up and good. And it is a 20 yarder for Blewett. That extends the lead 20 to 10. An exception here, 52 yards. And Bates up. Come on now. Come on now. The man is a Michigan Panther legend. Who was it? Adam Vinatieri of the oh, Amsterdam Admirals. Okay now. Throwing the trivia. It's Gary Jennings from the 10. And Gary Jennings. Staying up, elusive north of the 40. But Harry, you know, you were a holder back in your days in college. You're trying. Urgency of the voice of Corral. First down yardage and more. At Omaha, Omaha, that's an alert. It's an indicator to the rest of the team that, hey, we're, we've changed the play. We're running low on clock time. We've got to get the ball snapped immediately. And you heard Matt Corral. Marable going backwards. Noah Dawkins. Corral slips through one tackle. Eyes up. Looking end zone. The throw. Picked off. Game changer. Corral beat the initial pressure, but it could not beat this man. That would have been that would have been unbelievable. That is wild. Perry's got the edge until he does it. Wrapped up by DeMarquis Gates, his own wedding, and makes the stop. Perry almost broke this. Good tackle. Almost got out leveraged. Longest play in the UFL this season. Lone touchdown for the Panthers. Perry feels the pressure and is up. Showing off that Ivy League athleticism. There's a hit, flat down. Keith Gibson, though, the defensive play of the game for the Panthers to erase points. Perry is sacked. Getting home is the Nebraska Cornhusker, Carlos Davis. Against Arlington playing on the inside. And he just works and works and works. They try to set up a line. Perry flush, he's still up. Looking downfield in heavy traffic. It is complete by Trey Quinn underneath. 40 seconds left. Perry, sack, throws it away late.
backside pressure. Perry is going to be sacked. Brought down by Taco Charlton. They're calling it incomplete, but that will effectively end this game. That is D1 talent off the edge, and a former first-round pick of the Cowboys making the ultimate stop. Well, and essentially, they didn't block him. He comes off the edge here. He's the best pass rusher on the unit. And once again, the, deep, the offensive tackle, number 77, Ryan Pope, he did this earlier in the first half. He's doubling inside on the, on the inside rusher when he should be one-on-one -on -one out on the perimeter blocking Taco Charlton. That's a bust up front for Michigan, forcing the quarterback to evade and escape the pocket. And Taco Charlton Lowell making up for that penalty and the personal foul hands to the face earlier, which extended that drive. This is just a team with championship pedigree. They Skip Holtz has won back-to-back -back USFL titles. After they take a knee here, it's going to be nine straight wins going back to the USFL last season.